Delayed fades are back in Madden 25. If you've played previous Madden games, you know how effective this delayed fade route that our tight end is on. Now, this is going to be a pretty quick video because there's not really too much to it. I'm running it here out of the Packers playbook in the Gun Bunch tight end. And it'll obviously be a lot more effective if your opponent's using maybe the crossing routes or taking his user out of the middle of the field. But it's a really simple thing to do. All you have to do is look for a play with any sort of route like this. And they're actually more common than you might think, especially in certain playbooks. And just custom stem it all the way up the field. You know, just do it like 15, 20 times up. And you're essentially turning that flat into a delay fade. And you can wait however long you want. Like, it's not about when I'm throwing it. Obviously, I'm throwing into coverage there. Um, it's just showing you that you, you do have the ability to do this again when supposedly it's been taken out of the game. This is kind of a makeshift way of doing it, obviously. But you are able to do it here. So let me just show you a couple other plays. Like This is the Packers playbook, but in our Colts ebook, we started with some, uh, I think in the Gun Bunch Strong Nasty, we have some. You can see here, like uh, PA Cheat Double Post has one. PA Double Post over here. Um, PA Corner, PA Cross, you can see. It's actually in a whole bunch of formations and a whole bunch of plays. You know, you just move it all the way up the field, snap the ball, you know, roll out a little bit if you want, and then hit your tight end when he comes out of the backfield. Now, obviously, 99% of the time, the user's not going to be there, but if you run it too often, maybe they'll be waiting on it. But then you have the option to just leave him on his delayed, um, more of a delayed flat route. Now, I like this gun empty chips tighter. There's, you know, gun empty trips, gun empty chips. You can see in pretty much all of the plays in this formation have these to both sides. So this makes it really, really difficult to defend. Um, and again, you can just leave them on their default routes. I, I like those a lot, but you can also custom stem both sides all the way up the field and then adjust the play however you want. Again, this isn't about the play. It's just showing you, you know, introducing into your offense in whichever way you want that you can bring these delayed fades back onto the field. So now, you know, hit, hit your running back coming out of the flat or out of the backfield after it's delay fade. And this will help you with your blocking, some of like the mid blitz stuff. This will help you with blocking it because you do have the extra two guys. You know, you can wait here and then hit your tight end coming out. And then obviously set up your offense around it. So that's today's tip. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and feel free to subscribe. Until next time, take care.